<clears throat> it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to start gym. I had the hardest time waking up this morning. Um, feeling really, really tired. But yeah, I'm here anyway. I'm gonna get to it. So I'm done with the, uh, the what I need to do this morning with gym. Lifted some heavy weights, got to practice some snatch, which is good. <clears throat> now I'm just going to get on the rest of my day. It's going to be a really busy day today with meetings. Uh, but it's really, there's something really exciting going to happen today. So stay tuned for that. They <laughs> <laughs> don't know how to, you know, surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry if you want me back. Most of my mornings done uh, with meetings, and I just had lunch as well. I just stay here and work till then. I do have a couple of calls before I need to meet up my co uh, colleagues for dinner. Done for the afternoon. Now time to go to Bangsar. <laughs> What you doing here? Other than dinner, I'm finally getting a new Mac. Okay. <clears throat> Personal birthday gift to myself. After long, long thoughts. You're only getting one, right? I'm getting one, getting one. Of okay. I'm not, I'm not that rich. <laughs> but Mac Air served its purpose time for Rainbow Pro. It's cool. If you want me back, I'll tell you stop trying. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Let it go. All the boots are like, whoa. To dinner now, with a few colleagues. It's gonna be steamboat for dinner tonight. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I didn't dream of this um, last night. I really did go to a switch store and got an iPhone Pro. I think I just want to talk about a little bit why I decided to get the Mac Pro this year. Um, I do have a MacBook Air that I've been using for almost a couple of years. And at the time, I didn't get MacBook Pro because um, I didn't like what was being offered at the time by Apple. So they had the touch bar, there wasn't enough ports. So I wasn't really 
bought into the idea of that model because my earliest model of MacBook Pro was 2014 and they are all the ports it was at the time probably the best one of the best Mac laptops that they have um, so I wasn't convinced then so but now now that I'm editing videos I started my YouTube channel so I thought combine that with my birthday and also the, the, the model that they have now it's justification enough for me to go and get one which is what I did Let's begin to unbox this bad boy I'm always very happy with Apple unboxings There's no how to do it properly So I got the, uh, the silver model This is the lower spec one I got a 16 gb RAM and the 512. I love that they did this, this whole in, this printing of the MacBook Pro near the bottom. Even the Apple logo is bigger now. The side first. So they have the MagSafe cable, which I really, really miss. I miss MagSafe so much compared to using a USB C. Here. It's just very nice, like like how it feels and everything. For 14 inch, it's not too bad. It's actually quite comfortable enough for me to carry. Like the air, obviously, is much more comfortable in comparison. So there's the air. See, it's much way much thinner. If you compare both devices, see there's a huge difference. But I don't mind carrying something a little bit heavier. Screen reader called voiceover. Let's talk about ports. So now they have extra ports all around. The Mac save obviously the big one so that I don't waste a port trying to charge the Mac. Two USB C's here. There's now a HDMI port. Thank goodness. SD card reader so that when I do get a proper camera, I can plug in and just upload my footage. And of course another USB C here. So I think port wise is a godsend. I'm happy about that. But the Mac save definitely is I think one of the winners for me. <clears throat> Reason being, I'm like a really clumsy person, so if I if I accidentally like this, and a couple of times already this happened, where I use my MacBook Air and I totally forgot that I'm plugged in, and I just rip, and then the whole thing just starts like the whole table just starts going nuts. Whereas with this, plug it in like this, that side to just pull out, and that's why I probably liked the most from 2014. Uh, when I bought it, it was this specific feature, and this was the feature as well I used to sell to customers that I was working in in a, in a premium Apple store, where I tell them that hey, for safety wise, this is probably the one of the best reasons to to get. Mac. You want to do the honest yeah. me? This and then someone walks by, blue. Nice safe. Cable, oh yeah. Cable. Yeah, yeah, it's all braided. And the reason I got this, I mean, I, I, I know that Apple did not colorize this, this cable, so that's why I got the silver, because I wanted to match, because I'm just annoying that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get set up. Um, I may film my setup as, as, as I go. But yeah, but this is the, the this, just, the, just the unboxing itself. I don't want to go too much into it. Catch you guys later. So I just got back home. I'm gonna continue some work before the end of day and I'm gonna spend some time setting up this new guy here. <clears throat> so my Mac Center is on the way right now. Probably gonna take a little bit of while, but thanks for watching this video all the way. Looking forward to using my, my new MacBook. And I'll catch you in the next one.